Alrighty, we will solve the following exercise. It is exercise number 2.37. The X and Y coordinates of points A, B, and C of the sailboat are shown. A. Determine the components of a unit vector that is parallel to the forest A, A, B, and points from A toward B. B. Determine the components of a unit vector that is parallel to the back state PC and points from C toward B. Alrighty, guys. Um, I'm going to solve the exercise as fast as I can. After that, I'm going to explain what was needed for me to solve it. Of course, I'm going to be explaining every single step that I do. <clears throat> now, the first step is to create the vectors. So right here we have B, A, and right here we have B and C. Again, now the first question is telling me points from A toward B. So the arrow would be pointing towards B. Now the other says from C toward B. So it is going to be like this. <clears throat> Alright, next step I'm going to write down the coordinates. So 4, 13 meters, 0, 1.2 meters as well. 4, 13 once again and 9, 1 now uh, I'm going to determine the vector R A B so this is going to be equal to 4 minus 0 the I direction plus 13 minus 1.2 the J direction RAB is equal to 4 plus uh, 13 minus 1 12 minus 0 0.2 is equal to 11.8 along the J direction and this is in meters now, for the other vector, which is the vector RCB, this is equal to 4 minus 9 along the I direction, plus 13 minus 1 along the J direction. So, RCB. It's going to be equal 9 minus 4 is equal to 5. So minus 5 along the i direction plus 12 along the j direction. And right there we have our vectors. Now, all we have to do is to use uh, an equation for us to determine the unit vectors uh, for, each, for each vector. So this is going to be the vector RAB sorry the unit vector RAB is equal to the vector divided by the magnitude of the vector all right uh, in order in that order of ideas all I have to do is to determine first the magnitude of the vector and after that just um, divide the magnitude divide the vector by the magnitude so RAB sorry the unit vector sorry once again the, ve the magnitude of the vector is equal to the square root of every single one of the components squared so for a squared plus 11.8 squared this is equal to square root of 4 square plus 11.8 square 
12.4595. Now we're going to do the same thing for the other vector. So RCB magnitude is equal to the square root of minus 5 squared, which is the same thing as having 5 squared, plus 12 squared. And this is equal to thirteen. Now R A B the unit vector is going sorry, the unit vector is going to be equal to 4 divided by 12.4595 along the i direction plus 11.8 divided by the same magnitude on the j direction whereas the v vector rcb unit vector is equal to minus 5 divided by 13 along the i direction plus 12 divided by 13 along the j direction all right so the vector rab the unit vector rab is equal to 4 divided by 12.4595 0 0.321 on the i direction plus 11.8 0 0.9470 on the j direction and right there guys we have the first answer for the A apart, course in meters. Now, for the other vector RCB, we have 5 divided by 13. <laughs> this uh, remembers me to uh, a joke that I always see, which is 5 divided by 13. Oh, thank you. It is the same thing. But actually, this helps a lot because what this tells me is that the solution is not going to be a whole. It is going to use some decimal points. So all I have to do is to click right here and the decimal approximation is going to appear. Now, 0 0.3846 negative on the i direction plus... 0 0.9230 along the j direction and right here guys we have our second answer now what was needed for me to solve this exercise first uh, you have to make sure that you understand the direction of a vector remember for when we're talking about a vector we only care about the magnitude and the direction in which the vector is pointing. Now, when the exercise is telling me from point A toward B, that means this. All right? And all I have to do for me to determine the vector from that from that graphical representation is the coordinates. So it is going to be final minus initial that is why 4 minus 0 the same thing happens right here 13 minus 1.2 all right uh, apply it to the other vector 4 minus 9 4 9 minus 9 and it is it has like uh, it is logic why is that because for example if 
this is our point zero, then this vector is the result of a summatory of two vectors. Which ones? This one, sorry. This one and this one. Alright? As you can see, this vector is pointing towards the other direction for the positive numbers of x. That is why it's negative. Right here, I'm missing the equal, so equal. And since this other vector is pointing towards the same direction for the positive numbers of y, then the result is going to be positive. All right? Now, <clears throat> regarding the unit vector, a unit vector, it's called a unit vector because its magnitude is always 1. We use these kind of vectors because we want to play with the direction. We only care about the direction since the magnitude is only one. Now, taking that into account, we can determine the unit vector uh, using two, two ways. The first one is by using this equation, which is the unit vector is equal to the vector divided by its magnitude. Remember that when you are dividing a vector by a scalar, which is a, a number, that means that the result is going to be a vector, right? Because I have to divide every single one of the components of the vector by the scalar, right? That is why the answer is a vector. Now, <clears throat> the other way for us to determine a unit vector is by using the angle generated between the x-axis and the vector which is, in this case, this angle. We don't have it, but if we have just the angle, we are able to, to determine the unit vector by using the cosine in the case of the x direction and the sine in the case of the y direction. Why? Because the sine is using the opposite direction, which is this one, and the cosine is the angle adjacent to the x-axis and the vector all right that is pretty much it guys because all it, what's left is to take into consideration the negatives please be aware of those and uh, the results so that would be pretty much it guys this is how you can solve this exercise